After visiting Chu Monastery, we proceed to go to Darchin. Darchin is 30 kilometers north of Mansarovar. It is considered as base camp or starting point for Kailash Parikrama. We enjoy a delicious lunch in Darchin, then rest of our day is free to explore the town. We are very close to Mount Kailash, so we can only see the top part of south face of Kailash from our hotel rooms and even from streets of Darchin. Darchin is a busy little town full of activity. There are lots of small shops for souvenirs and any essential items one may need during Parikrama. Lots of street shopping. But the best shop we found was a paid hot shower facility. This was our first proper hot shower after leaving Kathmandu. Ashtapad mountain is very nearby. It is a three hour track to go up the mountain. From the top, Nandi mountain can be seen. We are very interested in this track. But suddenly we are told that Chinese military is asking all tourists to go back to their accommodation places and not be out in town. So Ashtapad mountain track was totally out of question. We could not even explore town of Darchin. We are forced to spend rest of our day in our hotel room. Accommodation is very basic. Only in Kathmandu, we had accommodation on twin sharing basis. Everywhere else, depending on room size, anywhere from four to up to 10 people would share one room. Local people came to our accommodation to sell small souvenir items. According to our travel agent, this is a very common practice, but we did not encounter it at Nyalam, Saga or Mansarovar. We had been informed to keep an eye on our luggage and never leave our rooms unattended. Our yatra, when we did interact with locals, the kids would ask for chocolates or biscuits or fruits, and ladies particularly would ask for bangles and bindis. Later in the evening, we prepare our backpack for Parikrama. Each Yatri is allowed only one backpack and if Yatri is willing to carry additional luggage, they may have a small drawstring bag. Today is day 9 of our Yatra, a very big day for us our first day of Kailash Parikrama. After breakfast, we drive for 10 kilometers by eco bus to Tarmuchi Flag. There is a big prayer for Lord Buddha, 
Lord Buddha himself came to the Kailas with 2,500 disciples and he gave, he gave the, 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 the Upadesh, the message of Dharma. Yes, yeah, sit right sitting in that press platform. Right? And Lord Buddha himself, he has mentioned himself in Tripitaka that he had a, he had a more profound, profound wisdom and knowledge of Dharma. Okay? So welcome to the Dharma place. Right. And this is the reason, this is the reason in every year on the day, you know that Lord Buddha, day of birth, day of Nirvana and day of Parinirvana is the same day, full moon day, which comes in the May. So every year in the full moon day of May, so all the people, people from throughout the Tibet, they come here and celebrate the Lord Buddha's birthday, Nirvana day, enlightenment day and Parinirvana day and erecting this big prayer platform. So what is the significance for us, those who are following the Sanatana Dharma? Okay, so right above the prayer flag, you see the cemetery there. You see this is the flat place? You see the flat place? That is the cemetery there. This cemetery place is considered a very strong tantric area. Shiva's Mahakaleshwar Swarup was revealed here. Between outer Kora and inner Kora route of Kailash, there are five monasteries. Choku Monastery is two kilometers from Tarbuchi flag. It is open all day there is no entry fee, but it is at much higher altitude than Tarboji flag. This is the Yamdara. We are, we are standing right in front of Yamdara. And there is a first cycle here. Yamdara. The second cycle behind, okay? So what we do first, we go clockwise. We go clockwise of the first <coughs> cycle. I think they have only covered with the fair flag. If you cannot go Parikrama, that's fine simply touch the first cycle and go through the M-Dwar, okay? Go through the M-Dwar and then go, if you can make the circuit of the second uh, cycle there, fine. Otherwise, touch it and do the Sastranga Dandavata Kailash. To the Kailash, to the Mahakaleshwar, to the Rudreshwar, or even there is a Hanumanji standing yesterday, I told you, yeah? The Atma Lingam is there and having Sankalpa that, Oh Lord, from today, lead me the path of Dharma. Parikrama of Yamdwar is considered equivalent to Parikrama of Mount Kailash. Few Yatris whose health did not permit them to do Kailash Parikrama would return back to Darchin after visiting Tarbuchi flag. But rest of us will start our Parikrama from here. More on first day Parikrama in our next Monday's video. Thank you for watching, liking, 
sharing my videos and subscribing to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing.